Hello, my name is Duncan, and welcome to Back Away From The Donkey and Back The Books. And this is my pick, one of my pick and mix videos, which if you've never seen one before, it's just me talking some random stuff, a bit about what I've read, what I may be reading, what I may be doing videos on, and it's just me rambling for a little bit, uh, more than likely. Um, so this week has been a bit, I've not read as much as I'd like to, it's been quite a busy week and stressful here in Donkey Towers. Uh, so I've not finished or started as much as I wanted to. Uh, the one thing I did finish was the uh, Robot Stories, which I managed to pick up the other week. Which are, if you want to know, Eander Bindo is, Bindo, Binder, Eander Binder is a pseudonym for Otto and Earl Binder, who were brothers. Uh, Otto seemed to have done most of the writing. Earl did a lot of publicity and things, as far as I can work out. And out of interest, Otto Binder was one of the co-creators uh, of Supergirl. Because he went to do a lot of work for Marvel and DC. Uh, I'm not going to go into depth about these books. They are the stories. They were published in a periodical at the time. And so they are nice little sections. They, some weird way, they remind me of the old... Um, Flash Gordon serials in the way they are put together. You know, the 1930s Buster Crab ones. And they remind me in that way. And also they remind me of um, the Short Circuit film from 1984, I think it is. Uh, with Ali Sheedy and... I can't remember who else was in it. Um, but yes, that's what they sort of remind me of. Just the way they feel. But I'm going to do a separate video on those. Maybe this, hopefully, back end of this week coming up. Or... Could be the following week. Just depends. And the other book I finished was The Year's Best Science Fiction Stories, which I really enjoyed. Lots of random science fiction stories there. So that's obviously the one that had the rollable uh, murder rollable murder uh, story by William Harrison, uh, which I did the story on. Not the story on, I did a video on the other day, which I will put a little link down below if you want to see it. Uh, I'm actually hopefully getting the collection of all the, the actual original book now after some searching and some help. So that should hopefully come this week and I'll be interested to actually read that. Uh, the other thing I was meant to be starting this week was I was meant to be starting Cow for the Holidays and I was going to read uh, Fossil was my first book but I never actually got round to it. So now I've finished those two books I'm going to go on to this one and, and actually get into the Cow for the Holidays season and I will probably pick up something else to read with it. A book of short stories more than likely. Uh, the other thing I go through sometimes is yesterday I got this week's Times Literary Supplement, which is always is quite interesting. It's got a load of stuff on Trump, which I just want to ignore because I don't want to give the man any more press than he gets anyway, and everybody knows what an idiot he is. But there's quite a couple of interesting bits in here. Uh, I'll find the first bit. I should have actually put some. Uh, post-it notes of where I wanted to look on there. Ah, there is um, in uh, If you saw my one last week, I mentioned about somebody saying about the Alan Rickman memoirs about the editor and whoever edited it had taken an awful lot of stuff out and basically the man said, just wanted to know, you know, what did he use his criteria? And this week we got the response from the guy that um, edited it saying, why do you want to know? Surely you should concentrate on it. It's one of these weird little fights you get in the letters page on the Times Literary Supplements where everybody's incredibly polite to each other but insulting each other, which I always find hilarious. Uh, there's a little section on books of the year with lots of people telling everybody what their books of the year are. And the other main thing, I've not finished reading this at all, the other thing that I would wanted to show you that I found incredibly intriguing was which I was not expecting to find in here, is there is actually a review of the new Black Panther film, Wakanda Forever, which I've read as a sort of piece of literary writing. It's very good. As a film review, it's terrible because they tell you too much of the plot, for starters, which you shouldn't do in a film review. You can, If you can't talk about a film without giving away half the plot details, you shouldn't be doing a film review as far as I'm concerned. And also, it feels like the uh, the man who they got writing review is a guy called Colin Grant, who's an author. 
I did a brief internet search on it and he's written quite a lot of bit. He's got a lot of interesting African studies and things like this, which I suppose does make some sense to have him review it on that level. But it seems he was lacking, um, lacks a lot of knowledge about uh, Marvel films or even Black Panther, because the only thing he stated was Black Panther was created by Stan Lee, which he was, and Jack Kirby. Actually, he didn't even mention Jack Kirby. But he didn't seem to know any of the history of it or any of the, any comparison to any of the other Marvel films in the Marvel have produced. And like the Marvel films are not perfect. There's issues with quite a few of them. Uh, some of them are entertaining, some of them are less entertaining. But it feels to me they got a reviewer who didn't really sort of want to watch the Marvel films, which sort of defeats the object. I always think that what's the point in getting people to review something who you know from the start aren't going to like it. But anyway, that was quite entertaining. But it's a piece of writing. It's quite, it's well written. It's well thought out, but as a film review, it is terrible. Uh, excuse me, I have just... Oops. So that was the main things I've picked up this week. Um, I was going to show you this. Um, in a minute, I'll tell you about some stuff I've seen this week. And thing. I've got a bunch of Omni magazines that I picked up incredibly cheaply months ago. If you didn't know, Omni was... That's one issue. It was a magazine of sort of popular science, fact, fiction and sort of some fancy stuff. It also had a lot of stories. I've got one down there, which was the first place George R. R. Martin's story, Sankings, was published. This is a later one from 1980-something. And it's full of lots of incredible cigarette ads which you would never get nowadays and lots of alcohol ads that you wouldn't get nowadays like those which is quite funny but in between all that and there's a nice factual article so you get things like that in this issue there is a short story over fealty by Larry Niven and Jerry Purnell, which I'll show you there. On that side, they have a piece of artwork by H.R. Giger, the man who designed the alien, great artist he was. So I am thinking about probably doing a series of videos, maybe one on an issue or a couple of issues. I'm not sure how I'm going to put this together and when it's going to start, but I thought it might be quite interesting for me to pick some interesting bits out of these magazines so if you're interested just maybe tell me if you're not i'll still do them anyway because i just do stuff my whole point of me doing youtube is just to do stuff that i want to do <laughs> sorry but that's it <laughs> and the other thing i was going to talk about is i was originally going to include in this video uh both sean stanfast and steve donahue have both done uh, videos Sean was on his top uh, 10 favourite science fiction series. Uh, Steve Donahue just did some on some science fiction series he thought people should read. And I was going to include in this video um, 10 science fiction series I think could be interesting for people to read some slightly different ones. Uh, I've decided I'm going to do that as a separate video. I may record it after this or I may record it tomorrow and put it out later in the week. Uh, but I'm... I'm going to do 10 science fiction and maybe include a couple of fantasy series that I think might not be the most obvious ones I think people might want to check out. So I'm going to do that. Uh, the other thing I saw was there's obviously everybody saw, a, must have seen Michael K. Vaughan's video about uh, reading 500 books you own before you buy another book. Which actually, if you watch the whole of the video, he didn't say he was going to do it. It's more of a like, thought experiment. But I thought about it and it scared me. <laughs> and I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even do 20. <laughs> I just think, yeah, I don't get it. But yeah, it's, if you want to, it's, I'll put a link to the video below. It's worth watching because it is a thought experiment if you work out how much you read, you know, and how many books you get for a year. Uh, so unless you're somebody like uh, Criminali or Steve Donoghue, you're not going to get through as many as you think you are. But yeah, that's very interesting. The other thing I watched, I watched Artemis take off for the moon. And that's a space flight to the moon. There's another video I'll link below. Uh, another video I think you might want to check out is a book Olive 
did a fiction, non-fiction book pairings that would be quite interesting. And I found it quite interesting thing to do is like pick a fiction book and then a non-fiction book that would work really well together. And I said, I'll link to the video below. And I just thought it was a really quite interesting concept. And I was just trying to think if I could do a like twist on that. And I've got a couple of ideas floating around in my head that I might consider doing. That I might, um, yeah, might interest me. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, if you're a Star Trek fan, Adam Savage, his tested channel, he has a look around the original Star Trek Enterprise model from the original series. And it's a great video if you're into modeling and the traditional effects. So, that one. And the final thing I stumbled across was by somebody. This is, I can't believe I watched this. I'm not going to put a link below it. If you're sad enough to want to search for it, you can do it. But it's by somebody called the Warrior Poet Society. And it was a woke bookstore rant. Whereas this man and his wife go in and go to the obvious philosophy of feminism sections and then rant about that all bookshops are as full of this sort of stuff. Well, if you went around to the other sections, you'd find other things. It's like, good God, people, get over it. Uh, but yeah, so that was the woke bookstore rant. I said, yeah, it was the Warrior Poets Society, I think it was called. But I'm not going to link to it because I, no, I, I refuse to. But if you wish to search for it, you'll find it. And yeah, it's hilarious. But yeah, so next week, what am I going to be reading this week? As I said, I'm hopefully going to finally start on half of the holidays. I'm hoping to get my reading back up to its normal sort of speed, which is normally I normally get through two to three books a week. So. I've got Fossil, which is the first one. And this one actually is in Isaac's universe, which was a universe that Isaac Asimov developed. And there's three books in the series, though. They're not related in that universe. The first book is called Diplomacy, I think. I haven't been able to get a hold of copy. It's quite hard to get hold of in this country anyway, but Diplomacy, which is, I think, short stories. And then there's a book that's written by Janet Asimov, Isaac's wife, that's in this universe. And there's this Hal Clement one. And it's just basically he created... I quite like it when author, when universities are created with the specific aim of other people writing them, which is slightly different to when, say, an author dies and people start writing books after they're in that universe. But if somebody specifically creates something for them to write in it, I always find that quite interesting. I've got a set of books I've been collecting, uh, not in uh, called Dungeon, which uh, Philip Jose Farmer developed this concept of this dungeon. And he's got other people writing it. He didn't actually write it. He just created the concept. I, and I said, I just really find things like that quite fascinating. But yeah, so that's probably me reading-wise what I've done this week. I've been out with the dogs a few times, as always. It's been raining here. I nearly built an ark because it's been raining that much. Uh, we didn't have some boats go this week, so our food, sh food shelves were quite empty yesterday. Uh, the boats are running again today, I think, because it was too windy. Uh, but yeah, so from here in the north, I will say goodbye for the moment. And I said I'll hopefully, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my Monday video. It probably, hopefully, will be the top 10 books of one I was considering about. And I said I want to do one on Adam Link, which will probably be later this week. And I'll probably do a tag and, you know, I'll do random things. But I need to go now, I think, and do something useful. And if you're watching this, I... Uh, I need to give you a little thing to put into the comments to prove that you've watched it. You've been one of the steadfast people that have watched it through to the end. And I said last week's was Golden Retriever, in tribute to my uh, gorgeous Golden, who we lost this year. So, this year, uh, I think, in tribute to... Mm, let me think. Should we keep on the dogs? So, I think you, what you need to do is just go um, Yorkshire Terrier, just in tribute to um, my gorgeous little Yorkie who's asleep in the corner, uh, little Gizmo. So, Yorkshire Terrier. Mention a Yorkshire Terrier, and I'll just prove that you got all the way through to the end of this inane rambling that I've been doing. But anyway, I hope that you found something in here that might be interesting for you, and I've said I'll put the links to the um, videos I said I saw this week that I thought you might find interesting, and I will speak to you all soon. Okay, thank you very much.